today we have a graph problem with us and let us see what the problem states detect cycle in a directed graph so given a directed graph the task is to complete the method is cyclic to detect if there is a cycle in the directed graph or not so straight away simple problem the given we have to complete this uh, is cyclic function and we are given the edges in the form of list of list and the vertexes are given in this int form we have to complete this static is cyclic function and it has been asked by tons and tons of uh, companies so that is why we are doing it today and let us see the example cases first so 3 is the number of uh, test cases 2 comma 2 the first one is the number of vertexes and the second one is number of edges so you can see that edges are given in this way 0 to 1 means uh, from 0 we can go to the first vertex from the 0th vertex we can go to the first vertex and then from 0th vertex to the 0 that means a self loop so it contains a cycle in the form of a self loop and that is why we have to give an output as 1 and 1 will represent that yes it contains a cycle and 0 will uh, show that it doesn't contain a cycle so in this uh, exam uh, explanation you can see that this was the given directed graph and there is the self loop that is why we give the output as 1 so let us see how we are going to solve this so we will be using depth first search in order to solve this problem and I'll be using a current uh, this current is an array and it will act as a recursive stack in this uh, in this case because we are using depth first search whenever we use a depth first search the array act as a recursive stack and you will come to know that how we are going to solve it let's see so first of all we will start our depth first search from the zeroth vertex so I have added it in the current stack that means it is in process we are processing this node okay so, uh, so that is why it is the uh, zero uh, vertex is in the current stack so we know that okay so from zero the depth first search we will start so from zero we can go to one okay so i will add this one in my recursive stack and one is added now okay so as soon as I add one, one is visited. So I will make a tick here that I know that it is visited. Okay, so from one, we can either go to three or two. So let us suppose in uh, depth first search, we go to two first. So what I will do, I will add two in the current recursive stack. That means uh, this two is under process. Okay. So from two, we can't go anywhere. So we have to retract back. And whenever we retract back, we take it out from the current recursive stack because 2 is no more in the processing state. We have already visited 2 and we can't visit any other node from 2. So 2 will be out of the current recursive stack. Okay. And now from 1, we will uh, ret we will get retract back to 1 because that's uh, where from that's from where we call 2. Okay. So we'll uh, go to the 1 and uh, just a second we have visited two also so I'll make a tick so we will make a tick so, we'll make a tick on two and now from one we can uh, go to three so I will add three in the current recursive stack okay so three will be added and I'm, I'll make a tick on 3 from 3 we can go to 4 so 4 will also be added in the current recursive stack so so I will add 4 so now from 4 we can go to 1 but where when we go from 4 to 1 we can see that 1 is already there in the current recursive stack so whenever uh, the next element is in the current recursive stack we know that there exists a cycle so this is how we can uh, we are going to deal with how we will get to know that whether a graph contains a cycle or not so uh, if the next element is already there in the recursive stack we know that there is a cycle so that is the main idea and this uh, I'll be using two arrays uh, one will be the uh, one will keep track of the visited node and the other one will keep track of this current recursive stack 
and that is how we are going to deal with it so let's just uh, code it now all right so let's code now so uh, this is the function that we have to complete so i will take two array one will be the visited and uh, basically this uh, array will uh, will help us to know that whether we have visited or not and it uh, its length will be the number of vertex okay and similarly the current for the current stack right and after that i will simply uh, i will simply call the helper function our helper function okay for each vertex i have to call it and inside this if uh, i will name our helper function contains cycle I'll, what i will pass i will simply pass the list <coughs> list the current vertex i our visited array the current stack and yeah that would be it and if the console control comes in this loop that means if uh, it contains cycle i will return true else after coming out of this for loop we must return false so up till this i guess we are clear now we just have to write a helper function that will carry the depth for search and basically that will do the whole work so let's just make that so that will also be static because in java you cannot call a non-static function from a static function so that would be it and it uh, its name will be this contains cycle only i'm gonna copy and paste it and the list will be of this type so copy this whole from here okay and after that what else boolean boolean visited and boolean current okay so this uh, will be our the helper function that will do the whole work all right and after this suppose if the element that we are looking is already in the current stack current record stack so we will return true that means we have encountered a cycle okay and if it is not in the current vertex but it is visited so that means it is of our no use uh, i mean it does not contain any cycle so i will return false and till this we are okay after this i will uh, assign the current uh, vertex that uh, we are acting on as true this means that the current vertex that we are visiting is now in the visited array and also it is there in the current recursive stack so marking it true okay now after that we will be defining a list for taking out the 
edges uh, list from this list of lists so list will be of type integer and I'll be calling it edge and it will what I will take uh, what I will store in it will be yeah we so one by one I will be taking out uh, the list of edges from this list and then I will iterate through the list I'm going to call it neighbor because inside this uh, for loop the main DFS part will be there so neighbor edge and inside that basically I'm going to write the DFS part uh, it will be a recursive call only all right so so if I'm going to call uh, this uh, function only that is what a recursion is calling itself and what I'm going to pass is list will be as it is list will be as it is and I'll pass the neighbor then visitor and then parent so if uh, contains cycle I will return true okay and after coming out of this loop what I will do I will simply take the current element out of the current recursive stack so that is necessary once we do the all the operations we have to take it out of the current recursive stack okay that it is out of the processing so marking it false will be the same thing and if uh, the function doesn't return true then that means by default we have to return false so this would be it and we will just simply run it now and hope that we don't hit any error so let's compile and test it whether we have written the correct code or not okay so some compilation error invalid method declaration okay the function is of boolean type how can I forget it okay so now hope it runs now all right basic test cases are passed let's submit it yeah so correct answer and that was it so we'll see you in the next video